digestive system includes oral cavity, alimentary canal, and secretory glands connected with the alimentary canal by ducts. Oral cavity consists of lips, cheeks, tongue, teeth, and gums. Alimentary canal consists of simple passages concerned with the transport of food or its residue from one part to another with minimal metabolic activities as oropharynx, oesophagus, and anal canal. And digestive tract concerned with the digestion and absorption of food as a stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. Associated glands are salivary glands, pancreas, and liver. Oral or mouth cavity is the upper end of the alimentary tract. It consists of lips, cheeks, tongue, teeth, and gums. In the oral cavity, the different types of salivary glands open by ducts. Oral cavity is concerned with ingestion and fragmentation of food to form pullas to help the digestion by the different parts of the digestive tract. The lip is a wedged sheath covered with stratified squamous epithelium from both sides. Skin on one side and mucous membrane on the other side. There is a central core of voluntary muscles arranged in various directions. Its outer surface is covered by thin skin, formed of epidermis and dermis, containing hair follicles, sweat and sebaceous glands. Its internal surface is lined by a mucous membrane formed of epithelium stratified squamous and corium of loose connective tissue having mucoserous glands, the lipial glands. Red margin is a transitional zone between skin and mucous membrane. It is covered by modified skin, partially keratinized. It has no hair follicles, sweat, or sebaceous glands. The connective tissue dermis forms deep papillae that contain numerous blood capillaries responsible for the pinkish red color of the lip. The lip is richly supplied by nerve endings, rendering the lip very sensitive. Cheeks are similar in structure to the lip. They are made of a core of skeletal muscle, vaccinator muscle, covered on the outer side by skin, formed of epidermis and dermis while its internal surface is lined by a mucous membrane formed of epithelium and corium, having buccal glands, which are accessory mucoserous salivary glands in the corium. The roof of the mouth consists of hard palate anteriorly covered by stratified squamous keratinized epithelium and soft palate posteriorly covered by stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium. The soft palate has a core of skeletal muscle and numerous glands in its submucosa. The palatine uvula is a small conical process which extends downward 
from soft palate having the same structure of the soft palate. The gum or gingiva surrounds each tooth and is covered by mucosa of a stratified squamous non-creatinized epithelium attached directly to the periosteum of the alveolar bone. The tongue, it is a muscular organ made of a core of striated muscle fibers arranged in three directions, longitudinal, horizontal, and vertical. The mucous membrane covering the surface of the tongue is made of a connective tissue corium, lamina propria, strongly adherent to the muscle and is covered by stratified squamous epithelium. The mucous membrane over the ventral surface of the tongue is smooth, loosely adherent, while on the dorsal surface it is firmly adherent and is irregular, showing lingual papillae. Filiform papillae are the most numerous. Lingual tonsils are masses of lymphoid tissue found in the corium of the root of the tongue. Glands of the tongue. Von Ebner's glands are serous glands found underneath the circumvallate papillae and the mucous glands are present in the corium of the posterior part of the tongue. Lingual papillae, they are projections of the mucous membrane on the dorsum of the tongue, present only on the anterior two-thirds of the dorsum. Each one is made of a central core of connective tissue covered by stratified squamous epithelium. There are four types of papillae. Conical or filiform papillae. They are numerous, partly creatinized, conical in shape, with no taste buds, cover the anterior two-thirds of the dorsum of the tongue. Fungiform papillae. They are found scattered between the conical papillae, especially on the margin of the tongue. They are rounded with a basal constriction. The connective tissue core is highly vascular. They have few taste buds. Circumvallate papillae. They are found along the V-shaped line at the junction between the anterior two-thirds and the posterior one-third of the dorsum of the tongue. They are few in number, about 10 to 12. They are large, rounded, with constricted bases. They have numerous taste buds and serous or von Ebner's glands, which are accessory salivary glands. Their ducts open into trenches around the circumvallate papillae. Foliate papillae. They are formed of parallel ridges separated by deep grooves and contain many test buds. These papillae help licking of milk and watery materials. They are present on the posterior part of the tongue. They are well developed in animals like rapid and rudimentary in men. Test buds are neuroepithelial flask shaped bodies concerned with taste sensation. They are found in the papillae of the tongue, fungiform, circumvallate, and foliate papillae. They are also found in the soft palate, pharynx, and epiglottis. They open on the surface by the gustatory bores. Structure of the taste bud. Taste buds contain the following types of cells. Gustatory or hair cells. They are 
neuroepithelial cells, long, supplied with microvilli that project through the gustatory book, and their basal pars have numerous vesicles and are surrounded by fine, non-myelinated sensory nerve fibers, supporting all sustentacular cells. They are supporting in function have long microvilli and lightly stained nuclei. They may be two types. Basal cells, they are short, present at the base, and act at stem cells for the previous types. Taste sensations may be detected regionally in the tongue without any structural difference in the taste buds. For example, sweet and salty sensations are detected at the tip of the tongue. Sour acids are detected at the sides. Bitter sensation, on the other hand, is detected in the region of circumvallate papillae, that is to say, along the V-shaped line at the junction between the anterior two-thirds and the posterior one-third of the dorsum of the tongue. Mechanism of taste sensation. Any substance to be tested is dissolved in saliva, then passes to the gustatory bore or to the taste bore, where it affects the microvilli of the taste cells or hair cells or neuroepithelial cells, initiating a nerve impulse which is transmitted along the sensory nerve fibers ramifying along the basal part of the cells, then passes to the brain. Oral cavity, the teeth. The main task of the oral cavity is the fragmentation of large food masses. This is performed by the teeth. The gingiva, gum, surrounds each tooth and is covered by mucosa or stratified squamous non-cratinized epithelium attached directly to the periosteum of the alveolar bone. Each tooth is divided anatomically into the crown which protrudes into the oral cavity above the gum. The root which sunks in the alveolus bone and is attached to it by preodontal membrane composed of collagen fibers. Then the neck, which is the junction between the crown and the root, and is surrounded by the gum. Histological structure of the tooth. The tooth is formed of three hard structures, the enamel, the dentine, and the cement. All are derived from mesenchymal cells present in the soft portion of the tooth, which is the pulp. Enamel covers the dentine of the crown and is the hardest substance in the body, formed of inorganic soles as calcium, phosphorus, organic materials as enamel protein, and the remainder is water. Enamel does not possess collagen fibers. Ameloplasts are the enamel forming cells which are lost at eruption of the teeth. Dentine forms the major part of the tooth and is similar to bone, formed of collagenous fibers in a calcified matrix. However, it has no cells, but only the processes of its forming cells present in the bulb, which are odontoplasts. Semen is similar to bone in composition and covers the dentine of the root. It is calcified and contains collagen and cells, cementoblasts and cementocytes. Nearest the neck of the tooth, the cementum is thin and lacks cells, a cellular cementum. The remainder contains cementocytes and referred to as cellular cementum. The pulp is a special type of connective tissue containing 
has tube sites, odontoblasts that form the dentine, blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves.